Okay, y'all, so I wanted to show you the back of the cookie. Look at how nice and brown and golden that is. And they're kind of crispy on the edges, but they're nice and cakey on the inside, mm. right there. Welcome back, everyone, to Catherine's Plates, where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. It's all about it's fall, y'all, and the holidays going on right now in my kitchen. So I'm incorporating a little mini series, and this will happen in the next few weeks, cake mix cookies with fall flavors. Now, my husband loves eggnog, and we were able to find some eggnog, and I was happy too because I wanted to make eggnog cookies. And we're going to be using cake mix. We're gonna make these really simple and easy for you guys. Okay, I have other cake mix cookies that I'm going to be incorporating through the rest of the fall here. So stay tuned for those. Guys, also go down in my description box because I have a ton of cake mix cookies that I have made prior to today. So go check those out. Okay, guys, grab you some eggnog and your cake mix box and let's put these together. Okay, it can't be any simpler, you guys. In a large bowl, we're going to add one box of white cake mix. This is 15.25 ounce size. I'm going to eat it. Okay, we're going to add a quarter cup of some eggnog. Your favorite eggnog that you like. All right, it is so creamy in there. We're gonna add that. Okay, now I have to go get me a cup of that. Thanks. <laughs> you guys, we bought this like days ago and I wouldn't let him drink it until after I used it for the cookies for him. <laughs> and she's killing me. So there it went. He's gonna like be using that right now. And you know, he's not the only one, my daughter, is following in his footsteps and she loves it too. She'll probably drink some too when she gets home from work. Okay, we've got two eggs that we're gonna put in. And then we have a quarter cup of melted butter going in. Let's see. One teaspoon of some ground cinnamon. There we go. And then we've got some ground nutmeg, all delicious fall flavors and everything we like about eggnog, right? <laughs> yeah. Let me show you this glass. <laughs> That's his glass of eggnog that he's just drinking right now. It he's, wasn't full. He's so happy. Don't judge me. He's so happy. <laughs> Okay, that was my oven. It's been preheated at 350 degrees. So you can go ahead and do that now. Okay, one teaspoon of nutmeg. And then we've got one teaspoon of vanilla. That's it, seven ingredients right here for the cookie. This is your utensil right here, a wooden spoon. We don't need a stand mixer. You're not gonna need a hand mixer, you know, your electric hand mixer. Nope, just get your wooden spoon out and mix it all together. It's easy if you break your yolks first to get those kind of going, and then mix it all up until it's well incorporated. Oh, it smells delicious in here. You can see all those spices in there. Okay, and like we always say, don't over mix. Just make sure that you pull from the bottom and that there's no cake powder down there. And that's perfectly mixed. All right, we're gonna get a sheet pan, align it with some parchment paper, and then start putting this on there. Okay, using a one inch cookie scoop, we're gonna take our batter here. And we're gonna place it on our parchment paper, just like that. Now give the cookies a little room to grow. There we go. Now this is gonna be a little wet batter here, so. Okay, y'all, who's happy that eggnog is out this season? I am. <laughs> Okay, my 
my cookies are now ready to go into my preheated oven at 350 degrees for 9 to 11 minutes. Start checking these at the 8.5 minute mark. We're just looking for the edges of these cookies to be a nice light golden brown color. Okay guys, when I come back, we're going to show you how we're going to ice these cookies. Okay, I've just pulled these out of the oven. Look at how pretty those look. Okay, I'm going to allow these to rest on the pan for two to three minutes, and then I'm going to pull them off, and then I'm going to place them on my wired cookie rack over here and allow them to cool completely. Okay, to make the icing for those delicious cookies over there cooling down, we're going to put about two cups of some powdered sugar into just a medium bowl. And in keeping with the theme of eggnog, yep, instead of regular milk, we're going to put in one third cup of eggnog. And we're going to add a quarter cup of melted butter. And we're going to drizzle in a little bit of vanilla, or about like half a teaspoon. All right, I'm going to use a whisk here and just whisk this all together. Now, I'm looking for a thick icing, so we're going to add more powdered sugar until we get to that consistency that we're looking for, because we don't want these to kind of ooze off the cookie. We want it to stay on the cookie. So I'm going to add half a cup at a time until I get to that consistency kind of want icing like you're icing a cake. So this will give me about three cups. I always start off small and then get to where I want to get to with this. That looks really good. Nice and thick. Can y'all see that? All right. Now what I'm going to do is I want to pipe this onto the cookies. So what I'm going to do is put this into a piping bag. You can even use like a Ziploc bag and just cut off a corner of it and pipe it from there. All right, let's go ahead and start icing some cookies. All right, I'm just going to start in the center and just kind of do a spiral. Okay, so I want to let y'all know, this batch of cookie dough made 24 cookies. So we had the one sheet here, and then while these were cooling, we had another batch in the oven. So I just want to let you know how many cookies this made using the one inch cookie scoop. Okay, we're going to take some cinnamon now, and we're going to kind of lightly dust these cookies. Okay, y'all, so I wanted to show you the back of the cookie. Look at how nice and brown and golden that is. And the sides are nice and tinged with some, you know, golden brown color. And they're kind of crispy on the edges, but they're nice and cakey on the inside, right there. Okay, you know I'm going to have Thomas come over here and try this for you. Yay! Okay, what do you think of our eggnog cake mix cookies with eggnog icing? Mm. These are freaking good. They smell amazing. It smells like fall in here with all those delicious fall flavors. They're so soft in the middle. They're really good, y'all. Go get you some eggnog and put these cookies together. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And then if you got kids, hide them. <laughs> All right, y'all, remember that this was my mini series of cake mix cookies for the fall, so stay tuned for other varieties coming soon. Check out my It's Fall, y'all playlist down below. Give us a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. There are like over 500 videos out there. Have fun and enjoy those. Yep. All right. We will see you on the next episode. Bye.